So let's just, um, yeah, let's just take a moment. And just get in our chairs and get feeling relaxed. So we can start moving with some mindfulness. Welcome everyone uh, to a Gentle Movement. I'm Chris. And um, we're doing this. Um, it's uh, springtime in South Florida, so it's gotten uh, rather warm and, uh, and humid. So we wanna make sure that we're mindful of our surroundings where we are, uh, so we don't get overheated inside uh, or outside. Um, so we wanna make sure that we're staying cool in our breaths when we breathe in and exhaling uh, with cool thoughts, nice thoughts, and making sure we're not getting uh, overheated. If we are, um, just we need to, you know, just stop. Make sure you have some water nearby as well. And if you need a fan uh, to help keep you cool, um, that is uh, that as well. So, um, and if you need a break while we're um, doing some movement, please take it. Like, feel your body. Um, you're the only one that knows you. So, uh, take it. Take a take a, uh, a little relax, have some water um, and all that. We're not gonna do anything crazy, but when, when the temperature starts to change, um, that, can, that can affect us. Or if you have allergies as well, uh, if you're sneezy or something like that, that can affect temperature because it heats you up every time we, every time we move. So uh, we just wanna make sure we're comfortable, relaxed um, and, and easy flowing and making sure that we're, um, that that's, uh, we're getting benefit and not being doing harm to ourselves. So let's just start with our hands on our, on our knees, in our lap, and take a deep breath in. Put a little smile on your face, pull your ears back, pull your eyes back, open up your face and exhale. Bring up your posture a little bit, straighten your back. Bring up the head and exhale. It's the worst problem. And inhale. And exhale. And I'm going to start, I'm just going to let my arms slide to the side to start getting relaxed as well. And just wobble in my chair to make sure that I'm comfortable and seated, not too close to the edge and not too far back. All right, and just start slowly moving our hands, bring our hands up, rotating out. I like the blur on the screen because it makes it look magical. Like I don't have hands and I do have hands. And I'm gonna start almost playing the piano. Well, just playing and letting my fingers move around, including my thumb, very important to include the thumb. Rotating our thumbs, because our thumbs get stuck, our joints get stuck. Um, and sometimes that can be very painful. And we, we might have a little aggravation. And it's like, oh, I just need to get that unstuck. Same thing with our necks and backs. We're just going to start now doing a little bit bigger swimming move. Swimming motion where we're coming up and going around. Coming up and going around. Breathing in. Exhale, coming around. So I come up and keep, keep playing the piano, right? Keep moving your fingers as we do this. So we're coming up and we're just loosening our hands and rotating our wrists as we go, getting everything kind of into motion. Now a little bit more wave action, nice and slow. And now we're gonna reverse. So we're gonna come back the opposite way. And come up. Now come up kind of high if you want and come down, come back out. Come back down. 
slowly. Now we're going to go super slow. We're just going to go really slow, coming around. Moving back slightly, come up and come down. When we come down, let's stop right about here. And I'm going to squeeze in and then expand out. Take a breath in when you expand out and exhale when you squeeze in. And you don't need to have your hands tight. They can be soft. You can tighten them if you want. <laughs> soft. Something in the middle of the screen. And then we're going to come back in. just kind of show you what I'm in the middle of the screen oh no no it's mine okay no worries pause for a second no worries so for and we're just going to keep pressing our hands like this and then expanding out And then coming in and going out. Very gentle. Okay. Very nice. And come back. So we're going to continue that in case you couldn't see what it was and just kind of come in. Inhale. Expand the lungs. You can even start putting your head back slightly and opening up even more and then coming back in. But slightly, we don't want to start leaning back. Right? We just want to keep our head here in the back. Now we're going to put our hands on our knees and one hand comes up. And down. Another one up and down. Same thing. Inhale going up. Exhale coming down. And I just have my hands like out like this when we do this, which is very nice and soft and gentle. And down. And I'm going to do some shoulder shrugs. So on my right and then on my left. I'm going to start in this motion. So I'm going to be pulling up and going back. What I want to do is get my shoulders to come down away from my ears a little bit, right? And come up. Lift up, pull back and down. Lift up, pull back and down. Now we're going to go in the opposite direction where we come up and go forward. And now I'm just going to start rotating my neck slightly over to the side. Rotate it forward slightly. I'm not going to bring it all the way down. I just want it on this side right here, on my right-hand side. And then I'm going to rotate over to the left. And you can pull down. If you want a little extra, you can hold on to your chair and lean slightly. Just make sure you're centered still, best you can be. If that helps, and that helps pull this whole piece right here. Be gentle with yourself as well. We're gonna come back to the center and we 
rotate forward slightly and come back and do the opposite side on our left hand side. Like so, keeping our breath focused and gentle. Remember, we don't have anywhere to go. Now we're going to come back to the center. Let's make sure that we're centered and we're not feeling, feeling wobbly. We're going to stay seated for a second. I'm just going to start with my legs coming up. I'm going to start coming up on my tiptoes. You can incorporate if you want more shoulder shrugs. This would be a good time to continue to do that if you want. You don't have to. Some people really like that addition. Let's keep going like this for a second. And I'm going to speed up a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit, just to get some stuff moving. I feel this in the back on my toes. It's no pain, but on the in the back, my calves, just to get some going there. And while I'm here, I also like to rub my knees just a little bit with my thumbs, just like right here, right on the on the inside of my knee. As a friend of mine calls it, the elbow of the legs. And start squeezing a little bit. If that feels good, it doesn't feel good to everyone. If you've had knee replacement surgery, or if you have knee problems, that might not be something you want to do. But if it feels good, certainly, um, certainly do that. Another nice thing to do if, if it's um, if you can do it is put, especially if you have sore knees, is putting warm or cold, depending on what you need. Um, uh, items on your knees, ice, you know, when we ice our knee or like a nice cold compress or a hot compress always helps. So now I'm going to do bigger steps and start pulling up a little bit more. I pretend I'm using my hands to do it, but I'm not. I'm using my hips, right? If I keep my hands on my knees, just take giant steps like we're going up. Big giant step. Ooh. This is when you wish there was an escalator there. That'd be nice. Or an elevator. Just be gentle. You can go slow. You don't have to go fast. Not running a race today. But just trying to loosen up our hips a little bit. You can swing out a little bit if you need. Like you're walking in mud. If you imagine. You're walking in mud, you gotta pull, you're like, oh. And just come up and go a little bit slower. And now I'm gonna go back to my, just my toes, tippy toes, as if now I'm walking through tulips in the springtime. And again, if you wanna add a shoulder shrug in, welcome to do that. And then we can start doing motions where it's more, it's the shoulder shrug, but now we're going to incorporate the ribs and open up on either side. So we start pressing out a little bit more and lengthening out a little bit more. We're almost doing a spinal twist, which we'll do next but just kind of opening up. This gets the inner thigh and inner hips kind of loosened up, which helps with the lower back because everything's connected. So this helps me with my, my lower back, the back section, when I can do things like this. All right. So now I'm going to lift my right hand up, take a deep breath in as I do it and just come over to my left hand side and start doing a twist. Uh, you can either hold on to the chair. If, if you're okay with holding on to your leg, that's okay. But if you can, your chair's a little bit more stable and just spin 
Keep your nose up. We don't want our heads down. We want our heads up. And take your nose back as far as it can go without doing anything. We want this to get opened up. We want this to get opened up. We want this to get opened up. And then release slowly. And we're going to go on the other side. Put our arms up. Inhale in. Come over to the opposite side. And the same thing. Nose stays up. And we look to the back. Now, sometimes, I, for me personally, I get tense when I come back. And I have to remember to relax. So I exhale a little bit. Relax and go a little bit deeper. I don't want to be too tense, like stiff, because then I get stuck. So I relax and I can go back just a little bit more. And then I fully relax and release and come back to the center. All right. We're going to do that one more time on each side. So we're going to come up and over. I'm going to leave with my elbow this time and lean in. Holding on and just bend down slightly. It's going to have a different effect. Again, keeping our head and chin up. And then slowly coming up and coming back across. And we're going to come up on our left side. Same thing, leaving with the elbow slightly and coming over. It's a slight bend, right? And this can help with the lower back. Also extending this section. And taking a deep breath in, relaxing. And releasing and coming back up. All right. Okay. Let's go back to raising our hand. On both sides. And now we're going to start raising our leg with our hands. So we're going to start bringing this up with. Come back down on the opposite side. Come back down, almost like this is being pulled up at the same time, same motion. And down. Like I have a magic string between my knee and my hand. And I'm puppeteering myself. So this helps with coordination to get both of these going at the same time. All right. One more time on each side. And down. Uh, and uh, now. We're going to do the opposite. So I'm going to go up on this side. Up on the right with the arm, up on the left with the leg, and then opposite. Up on the right with the, up on the left with the arm, and up on the right with the leg. This might require you to lean back some, which is totally okay. Right? And then we're going to do the same. And this time we're not, we have zero help, right? Like we're having to do, yeah, I mean, you can, you can certainly grab your knee if you need, if that helps, certainly for balance. I know one side for me is harder than the other. So my left is, is the harder one to get up, my left knee. And one more time on each side. Okay, now we're going to rotate our hands again. Let's take a relax, just relax out. Again, just keeping it easy. And start like we're kitty cats. Or we're making biscuits if we like. Mmm, biscuits, that sounds good. <laughs> Stop talking about cookies. <laughs> All right, so yeah, and we're gonna start reaching out to each side, right? We don't wanna bend over, we wanna stay straight, right? Because if we bend over, we're gonna, this gets us off balance, it pulls us off balance. We wanna stay up 
as if we're reaching for something and not reach over too much. We'll get there, right? Then we're gonna switch sides. Just work our way over, reaching for something on the counter. Now we can start to bend slightly, keeping our head up, right? We wanna make sure we're balanced when we do this, right? Another thing is like looking for our glasses in the dark. Where are they? I need my glasses, right? But we don't wanna fall over looking for it. So we're just gonna reach up, right? And then you come back to the center. Just take a quick break. Deep breath in, exhale. And we've warmed up nicely. And um, so now is a good time. Any time is a good time, but now is a good time if you have a, an intention or a thought or something that you want to um, bring into your practice to, um, to help um, either give you a little extra push or give you some incentive or something to look forward to later in the day. Uh, you know, any, any number of things, um, there's no right or wrong answer of what to, what to think. Um, but if there is something that you want to accomplish or something that you want to uh, say to someone or need to do, now's a good time to bring that in. Maybe it's, oh, today's a wonderful day to go smell some flowers or go, um, you know, spend, spend some time with someone who I've not seen in a while or maybe call someone. Those sorts of things are always good to put in. Um, especially earlier in the day or later in the day, it's fine too. Maybe it's for tomorrow, but just some sort of intention that you have um, so you can see it through. So we're just gonna take a deep breath in, nice cooling breath and exhale. And one more inhale, exhale. Now the biggest inhale you've taken today. And exhale. Remember to give some gratitude for the breath that we're able to breathe and, um, and any water we're drinking, giving it to uh, making sure that we're being kind to ourselves, listening to our bodies as well. And just taking a quick little break which is okay and necessary. If you need to grab some water or a, si a sip of water or something, now's a good time to do that. Very good. And uh, I will grab <coughs> mine as well. And water bottles, by the way, are, are an excellent, not when they're empty, <laughs> but when they're full, are a good way for extra counterbalance and weight as well. And so sometimes if I feel my, I, I need to stretch, but I don't want to do a whole thing, I'll take my water bottle and just hold it out as such, just to have a little extra weight like this. So maybe we can try this. If you have a water bottle, if don't, if you don't, let's pretend we're just opening a door. So it's going to look the same, but we're going to do this with a water bottle where we open the door. And other side, open the door. Now, when we do this, we can do with our head straight, or we can start to turn as well to open the door. All right. And very elegant, very like ballet, ballet ish. I don't want to say, it, you know, like very ballet, opening, rounding, keeping things rounded. If you want to pretend spell eh? you can put your feet up on tippy toes. That's up, totally up to you, right? If you want to do some of this stuff, yeah, it's awesome. And just open and open. The other, <clears throat> now, so we just opened the door and now we're going to go get in our car and we're going to do our, put our seatbelt on. 
So we're, just gonna, we're not going to reach back too far. We're going to reach back and pull. And 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 so this will open up the back muscles up here. Right? So we reach back and pull. And sometimes, I don't know if it's happened to you or not, but sometimes um, if, if you do something too quick, you might pull something like, oh, and you didn't really, there was no heavy lifting. You didn't fall. You didn't do anything. You just reach too quick. So what we want to work on is mindfulness move, you know, moving mindfully and things we do every day, right? So when we eat, right, these sorts of moves, as small and as gentle as they are, are important. All right. So now I'm going to come down and open my hands up, stretch my fingers out really wide, right? And I'm going to come up top. Deep breath in and come down in a prayer pose. Okay. Inhale, exhale. On the next inhale, we're going to go up. And then try to branch out like a bird and then come behind your back. Now, sometimes that will release a lot of, you might hear some popping and cracking in your shoulders. It's okay, as long as it's not painful. And we're just gonna stay here for a second, and then we're gonna release and let our arms drop to the side, right? Just nice and slow. We wanna do everything nice and slow. So we're gonna come back, same motion, up to our center. Inhale in, come back up. Again, coming back behind your back. As long as it's not painful, you can stop at the sides if you need to. What we want to try to do at this point is keep our ears and our shoulders as far away as possible. Right? So we sit up and then, then we release. So this will open up our chest and our shoulders a little bit more in our neck in a different way. It's not really one of the things you want to do first thing until things are loosened up, what happens to me when I do that and I release that is sometimes I really get dizzy. I remember walking down a road one day and I did this and all of a sudden like it went Bzzzt! and like everything just turned really bright and because I'd opened up my chest and like, oh my goodness. And like everything just like crack, which is good, but it's, it can be a little alarming in the very beginning because I was like where am I I know that just happened so just be mindful with that particular when you open up and go behind because that opens up a lot of space all right so now we're going to lift our arms try to keep them so they're they are the horizon so they're not up here and they're not down here right so we want them horizon wise we're going to turn our hands up right you can feel the difference between this and when they're down, right? That's even it's small, it's very significant. These are little tiny muscles we're getting. This is for the front, this is for the back and sides, right? The back of our arms, and this is for the front of our shoulders. And you might feel that slightly. Now, if you want to get funky and do something from the 80s, you can do that and come back. But that's just for fun. You don't have to do that. I just enjoy doing that. It's fun. And it makes Kamani laugh too, I think, if I do that. But now we're going to do, we're going to push, there you go. We're going to push walls away, right? So we're going to come in here, take a deep breath, and push out. Exhale, push away. And you should feel this a little bit in your forearm, right? And your thumbs and your hand. And then we come back in and push out. One more time. And push up. And then come down and scoop up and around and stop. 
It's a lot for the shoulders. That's a lot. That's a lot of work pushing walls. We just pushed a wall. Can you believe it? That's crazy. So we scooped up a bunch of earth, came back down. Okay. A lot of work, especially when you play the mental game with yourself, right? When you have some fun fantasy of what we're doing and pretending a little bit, that's part of it. Um, and that helps, helps get it through. You know, you paint the fence. I don't know if you've ever seen this from Karate Kid, paint the fence, a very specific thumb straight up and down or like this, very much where we're lifting up. It's different motion. And anytime you change a little something in, in our body, it changes uh, where we feel it. This is different than a backstroke. A backstroke, you come up, and then we come all the way back around, which we can do that too, right? So we're going to come up, and then all the way back around. And up, and right, and back around. And one more time on the left. And back around. All right. Let's see. Let's stand up for a minute. We're almost done. But let's stand up if you can. If not, it's okay. But I just want to stand on my side, side of my chair. Wipe a little sweat. Okay. And we're just going to do counter belt. We're going to lift up, lift our leg up, and out to the side. And then bring it back down. So up, out to the side, and down. And one more time. And if you can, hold on to your chair, if you have a chair to hold on to, right? OK, no worries. And if not, you can counterbalance with your hand. If you don't have a chair, you can counterbalance by putting your hand out, right, over here, so you're balanced. So it's not here. If you're here, you might fall this way. So counterbalance out. And then over. And same thing on the other side. And counterbalance. So we can, yeah. And it doesn't, and the leg doesn't have to come all the way up and out. You can come part way up and out. Okay. And just do a little counterbalancing. There we go. And this just helps open up the hips. Again on this side. Almost I'd like when I do this, I pretend, I don't know if you know who Iron Man is, but I pretend I'm like Iron Man and I'm pushing with my jets and I'm pushing down to the ground to counterbalance. So it's not just kind of there, it's actually active. Right. And one more time on the other side, and then we'll sit back down. And if you want, you can point your toe and have a place where it lands. So it's nice and pretty. All right, awesome. Let's sit back down. We're gonna start, we've done a lot of work. We have, I'm sweating, I don't know about you. We got a little sweat going on. Could be humidity, I could, I could blame that, but I think it's from, from doing this a little bit. So now let's just start getting into a place of relaxation, not too much. And before we do, let's just like settle down a little bit and rotate. So we wanna make sure our head stays up. This is just for a midsection. Make sure we keep our breath and come in and go around. And switch and go the opposite way. This is kind of like what we did with our head earlier to release our neck, but our hips, all the tension's held, right? So we just want to kind of go back, not get dizzy, obviously, but just go back and forth. Deep 
breath in and exhale. One more time. And this just kind of helps settle us back. Helps with this really helps with digestion, or if you have any, um, if you're not, if your abdomen's not doing great. Um, you know, as long as you haven't again had surgery, things like that, this can feel really good. I wouldn't do this right after you eat, maybe. <laughs> But certainly, um, some point, it just helps move things around. You might hear stomach, stomach uh, or uh, intestines do a little rumble. It's normal. Okay. Let me come back to the back to the center. Let's take a deep breath in. And just start slowing down. And inhale. Let's bring back into our mind any positive thoughts that we've had. Negative thoughts tend to come in often, sometimes, depending. Um, and there's nothing that we can really, that, you know, we just want to filter them out, let them have their space, observe them, but not let them live there right and just observe them and then they eventually go away but putting intentional positive things in about enjoying the sunshine or about enjoying the clouds in the sky um, being childlike is very helpful even with a bunch of responsibilities it's nice to be able to do them with a light heart and have some fun doing them um, in taiko there's a um, there's a it was the the drumming i, I practice it's um, called Genki. It's a Genki spirit. And it's, um, it just means like a spark of something like, like being ready, uh, happily ready to assist at any time um, and participate. And uh, even if it's something we're unfamiliar with, it takes away fear. It takes away a lot of things that you normally wouldn't do. Um, you don't want to do foolish things, obviously, but, you know, it takes things like that you might normally be embarrassed to do or, or to try. Um, because what, what there was a song I heard uh, on some thing. It's like, you're really uh, like, and it had something to do with being bad at first is the only way to get better <laughs> or something to that degree. And it was basically saying, um, you really have to not, if you're not doing something well in the beginning, you're probably doing it right. And then eventually you learn to do it, but you do it with the spirit of of um, of joyfulness, and it helps lead to uh, a better practice. So, um, and you know, working out's not always fun, but it does feel good once we once you get started. It might feel bad, but once we get going, it feels good later. So it's that spark that gets you going, um, and it's called Genki. It's like a Genki spirit and very helpful, resourceful, um, kind, things like that. So that's, that's um, what taiko players uh, have. It's like just a kind of a go for it attitude as well. So it's a lot of fun. So I just wanted to bring that in because it's sometimes, uh, sometimes one word can change that on something. Words are very important and their meanings behind them are very important. So. Um, that's a fun one, um, yeah. That's uh, that I that I enjoy, and I'm relearning it in my life. I've been playing Taiko 16 years, and I'm now just relearning about the Genki spirit. So it's fun. All right, so let's start relaxing a little bit, and closing our eyes. We didn't do much in our in our head today, like our face. So we're gonna start like making some silly faces. Right? Just start squeezing up our face. And moving our nose around. And making all the weird faces we did as a kid. Right? Open up. And this is good for if you have allergies or things like that and you're clogged up, this can help get it unclogged. Same thing with moving around your neck, 
all depends on what's going on and only do things that are going to make you feel better please okay like if it hurts please stop all right but this can feel good because it kind of opens up the little socket areas in our ears like squeezing our ears back making funny faces just to make funny faces it's nice all right we're just going to close our eyes take a deep breath in and we're going to do some eye rotations very slow um, just to relax our eyes we've had them open for a while paying attention so we're just going to roll them around a little bit and so i start up top and i go to the left and I'm going to rotate my head with it a little bit just to give the motion. It's going to be very slight. I'm just going to go to the left and then down over to the right, back to the center. I mean, back up and then back to the center. And I'm going to go the opposite direction. So I'm going to go up, then to the right and down to the left and then back up. One more time in both directions. Left, down, right, up, center, and up, right, down, center, or down, left, up, and center. Now we're just going to go side to side. So I'm going to go to the right, and then to the left, really slow. All right. left this is very intentional because if you think about our eyes our eyes just kind of focus in a frantic manner they rarely move slow they get a lot of work every single day so I'm the right and then the left and then the left and then the right just really slow do that for a, just a minute and it's almost like stretching a muscle out as long as it's not painful. Now we're just going to go up and down. And you don't want to press too hard, right? So it's going to be a pain. So we'll make sure that it feels good. And these are just slight movements. Up. Up. Now we're just going to stay centered for a second. And exhale. Now just relax your body. Lean back in your chair if you can. If not, stay up, right? And we're going to let our arms fall to the side just for a minute. We're only going to be here for a minute adjust please do right. i felt i was a little little high up in the chair and then you can bring your feet out if you'd like just relax at the side and deep breath in and exhale one more time deep breath in and push all the air out that you can. And then hold it up. Nice, cool breaths. And we want to make this as even as possible, no tension. So we relax a little bit deeper. So it's not laborious, it's not making us work. And exhale. And just relax. If you need to get more comfortable, please feel free to do that. Start 
moving my hands and fingers a little bit. We're just here for a minute. Just here for a minute. I'm going to squeeze my thighs if that feels okay. Not everyone likes that, but if it feels okay to you. Helps bring some blood flow there to your knees. When you're ready, start opening your eyes a little bit. You don't have to open them wide all the way. Okay. But if it feels good, squeeze around your knees. Even in your arms, that feels okay. Again, not everyone feels okay with that. And if you don't, that's totally cool. But those who do, try and squeeze just to, just to, just to. And slightly open your eyes, begin to open them slowly. Deep breaths in, come back to a relaxed space. Not where we're leaning forward too much or leaning back, right? Just in a nice centered, centered spot. This can be here for a minute. And do some free flow movements. Do what feels good to you, right? If you feel you need to do some more arm stretches or maybe want to touch your elbows together, I don't know. That feels good. Do that. Try and do it like this. It's crazy. I can only do it this way. I know people also who can do it like this way, and it's crazy. But I can handle it like that. If you can, bring your hands up, down. Whatever feels good for you. Go over to the side. I know my back has been tense lately, so I, I do a lot of spinal twists. There's another spinal twist too, if you want to drop down and get low and use your legs, you can do spinal twists like that. But whatever works for you. Come on up. Just remember to breathe, whatever you're doing. And coming back. Sometimes people like to bring their elbows over and bend like this. It's a much deeper stretch. You just have to be mindful of where you're at. Right, just some final, final stretching. Here and shoulders. I'm trying to think if there's something we didn't cover. We haven't done. I think we covered a lot of stuff. We've got our thumbs, we've got our fingers, we've got our well, we, toes. We did when we did that. We did our little of this, our spinal twists. Okay. Yeah, I think we could. We can do one more. We can do one more thing, even though we've just come back from a little nap. Um, we can come up back like this and lean in, right? And then go on this side. This is almost like the walk like an Egyptian thing, except we're not doing that part. And you come back, right? <laughs> you remember the Bengals in the 80s as a group? Stay centered, yeah. That's always good for the back. And then you can also twist like that, like airplane, right? Like an airplane coming out. Oh, and we forgot this one. Looping our arms in and touch. Bring them up. Down. And then you switch sides. Almost like hugging ourselves, which is always fun. Nice. Let's bring it up. And that gets under from the shoulder and the back. And that's good too when we do that. So there's a whole thing. It's uh, where you do the, I think in yoga it's eagle pose or something. And then you can you bring your arms forward and back up. I think that's what it's called. Then back down. So what we try to do is just even. So we get stuff even on each side. Typically, one side is less strong than the other, or one side stronger than the other, and it just depends. So what we try to do is incorporate more into whatever side needs it uh, and help like that. So yeah, I see Helen uh, has joined us. Um, hi, Helen. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more. Um, we have a few minutes left. So we're going to do a little bit more. 
Um, we already took our little nap, which is which was fine. Now we're waking up again and just moving, moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. I'm just going to bring my legs up, right? I like to put my hands on my knees to help out, but if that doesn't work. Now, another thing you can do is grab under here and lift if you really want to get up, right? Our legs are heavy. There's a lot going on in there. So you can do that as well. The other side. And this also it doesn't just help lift the leg, it also pulls these muscles too, right? So what I try and do is I keep my arms long and pull and then lean back as opposed to pulling like this. You can, that's a heavy weight. So what I try to do for stretches is leave my arms long and lean back a little bit. and then lean back. Cause that way you're using your body weight to help stretch your arms. You can do this. This is, um, this is more of a, of a, like you're doing it like a lift, like lifting like this, if we had weights. So if you just do it like this, it's almost like we just have our arms out. Not like that. And yeah, cool. And then again, we can come into the center and if you really want a super long stretch, you try to touch the floor. Don't touch the floor, but you can try to touch the floor. Some people can when they do this. And then you bring your elbow up and extend up high. It's tough to talk like that. That's a fun one. And then we come back down, right? And then we land here and I come back. I like to go with the elbow first, just gets me, and then I finish up. And then collapse it down. Some people like to go straight, straight up. I find that to be a lot more challenging, which is fine, but it's not necessarily the best for it. Some people like to just do their elbows too and leave this dangling. That's all right too, and then come back down. You just wanna make sure that you're balanced whatever it is, so you're not gonna fall over no matter where. Because if you're on a mat and you, and you do that, you can get off balance pretty easy. In a chair, it's nice because you're, it's, it's pretty even. So, yeah, I saw, let me just come check. I'm gonna come down here and check. I see, I see, I see some messages. All right, all right, all right. Everybody's good. Everybody's good. Glad you can come. No, even for a few minutes, it's okay. It's okay. You need it. It's all good. Um, trying to think. Oh yes, this one's always good for for hands, right? And I'll, I'll actually come closer so you can see. Oh boy, that sounded exciting. It was just a water bottle, though. Well, that sounded really exciting, but it wasn't that fabulous. So how we did this earlier, but if we want just to put our hands together and press and try to get to a prayer pose, right? Now we're here and we it actually feels stuck when you do this. So we push fingertips only and push out. And this helps with strengthen our fingers. And we come down, right? And make it into a little ball. And poof, goes away, right? So bring our hands in. This is always a fun one. And you rub your fingertips together if you want beforehand. And you just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And this really gets the tiny muscles in the hands. Right, it's not, it's, you're, we're not doing anything else, just little tiny muscles. And so again, come in, finger stretched, come in, and you just start squeezing in. Remember to breathe. And you pinch almost, you come, and then you get to a certain point and poof, goes away, okay? 
Um, and that can help um, just with dexterity. And sometimes it's nice to, to do things just with hands, right? So if we need to just swim around like this, this helps with wrists as well as doing this, but this gives a little bit more push, right? On either side, as long as it feels good, up and down, up and down to the side. And things like this. Because sometimes when we type or we play piano or we do things like that and we want faster to move faster, right? Or not, right? Sometimes it helps, sometimes it does, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, now the other another one is is out like this. And be gentle. We don't have to push too hard here either, right? You can, you can push as hard as you want but be gentle with your hands, right? We don't want to push too hard. We want to be gentle with them as well and stretch them out like this if we can. Right? We just use our fingertips. That feels okay. Um, and also, if, if there's something going on and you can't do these, that's okay. Right? And just open and close just to get the webs, right? Just give the very gentle stretch here. I know it seems like nothing, but it like when you're done, if it's tight, just loosen up again. Remember to breathe because we forget to breathe in these moments, right? With little tiny things, but we want to make sure that we're able to have our fingers can move nice and right as best we can. Sometimes if something's caught, now I, you can pull these out slightly, being very gentle, but only pull them straight, don't bend them, right? Just straight out. Straight, 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 straight. And sometimes it will loosen something that's going on, right? Just being very gentle. You can do the same thing with the toes, right? I'm not going to do that on camera. That's kind of weird, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> you can do the same thing uh, with your toes. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much. Um, yeah, and and because um, when we do, and I don't know if you're able to use chopsticks, things like this. These are good practices: chopsticks, forks, things like that, to just oh. track to just practice doing that so thank you guys so much it's great to see everyone thank you. all right yeah great, great to see mm -hmm. helen yeah i appreciate it helen joined us a little late but i'm glad you got a little bit of time with us today yeah hope, um hope to see you again here next week